Good morning, everyone. This is Sakis Paraskevo, Fundamental Analyst at IronFX Global, bringing you the morning comment for the 13th of November. Several bank officials spoke on Thursday and the bottom line was held unchanged. The Fed is most likely headed towards its first rate increase in almost a decade, while the ECB is preparing more measures to boost the Eurozone's recovery. ECB President Draghi noted that the downside risks stemming from global growth and trade are clearly visible underlying the bank's readiness to unleash further stimulus measures at its meeting next month. On the other side of the Atlantic, Fed officials refrained from adding fresh hints regarding the summer rate hike, with Fed Chair Yellen not even commenting on monetary policy. I believe that the most notable comment came from the New York Fed President William Dudley, who said that the risk of moving too quickly versus too slowly are nearly balanced. The importance, of the, the importance of his assessment comes from the fact that he has been cautious to comment on raising rates and now it seems that more Fed officials are being lined up behind the December rate hike. The Green Bank retreated against its major counterparts as the market was eager for reassurance and stronger signs that the Fed will raise rates at its December meeting. As a result, it has become more sensitive to dovish and neutral comments than hawkish remarks. We have made the case several times that USD is data-driven and that significant positive US data surprises are now required to keep the Fed on track to raise rates and USD to gain further. What is more, with the market currently pricing around 70% rate liftoff in December, it will need fresh communicate from Fed officials to signal a greater probability of hiking as we go into the next month's meeting. As for today, the preliminary GDP data for quarter 3 from Italy and Eurozone as a whole are due to be released. Eurozone's preliminary GDP is expected to have risen at the same pace as in quarter 2, while figures released from Germany and France earlier today were in line with market consensus. The market reaction on this news was muted. In the US, the headline, the headline retail sales are expected to have accelerated in October while retail sales excluding autos and gasoline are estimated to have risen after staying unchanged in September. Further improvement in retail sales could suggest a pickup in growth for quarter four and could strengthen the Green Bank further. We also get the PPI data for October. The headline rate is forecast to have declined further into negative territory, while the core figure excluding food and energy is expected to have slowed. This data increased the likelihood of a negative surprise in the CPI prints coming out next week. The headline CPI rate is currently at 0% with expectations at 0.1%. A possible disappointment in the PPI could leave the CPI rate unchanged. The preliminary University of Michigan Consumer Sentiment Index for November is also coming out, along with the surveys of 1-year and 5-10-year to 10 year inflation expectations. As for the speakers, ECB Vice President Mr. Costanzio, ECB Executive Board Member Yves Merge, and Cleveland Fed President Loretta Messer speak during the day. For more information, including technical analysis, please read the full comment on ironfx.com or download our app and get all the information you need to trade delivered directly to you. And also, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Sagis Paraskevo, a metal analyst at IronFX Global, wishing you solid trading.